welcome followers of the past. Welcome to the great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. Yes, I called you the follower of the past because you follow the path to Mount Zion, to your rapture and to paradise. This is God's plan of rescue, that you come out of the world and out of Babylon and join with all of us together on the path to Mount Zion. And at Mount Zion we will all be raptured into paradise at the sixth year. Let us all assembly at the base of Mount Zion at the sixth year, and then we will receive our mansions, our spiritual mansions, that we will receive in paradise. And then we will be with our Father Yahweh and our Son Jesus Christ forever and ever. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, today our topic will be 555, 1 Corinthians 16, The Gathering of the Saints. Oh, an interesting title. 555, yes, that's triple grace. And I opened yesterday the page in my King James Bible by accident on the page 555. And I was so surprised because on page 555 in my King James Bible there was 1 Corinthians 16. And what does 1 Corinthians 16 speak about? The collection and the gathering of the saints. And that is exactly the time frame and the teaching and our ministry, what it is about. The gathering of the saints on the way to Mount Zion, that we will bring all the people together into righteousness so that they can change their old robes to a white robe, totally clothed in white garments. And with this white garment, they will have access to the holy place, to the Father, and then to paradise. This is a time now. No other time will be the year. This is a time. And I was so surprised to find it there, and I thought, how fitting. Everything is coming together. The Lord is bringing everything together. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because now he brings not only messages from all other prophets together that we have to go in the Exodus, that we have to walk forward out of the world. Now he is also bringing scripture in alignment that everything will fit together. And by the way, I also recommend you to go to one other channel than ours. And that is ministry revealed. He has a lot of interesting stuff. And he also talks about Mount Zion. And he also talks about the right timing. And he talks that now the people will walk towards Mount Zion. And that Jesus will be at Mount Zion, the mountain not carved by human hands. And that the Father's throne of glory will be on top of it. Perfect alignments. His channel from Ellen is ministry revealed. Have a look at it. A perfect channel with perfect messages. Now, let us return to our topic. 555 Triple Grace, 1 Corinthians 16, The Gathering of the Saints. Let me read it. First Corinthians 16, 1 Corinthians 16.1 Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do you. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as God has prospered him, that there be no gathering when I come. And when I come, whomsoever you shall approve by your letters, them will I send to bring you liberty unto Jerusalem. And if it be meet that I go also, they shall go with me. Now, plans for travel. Now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, for I do pass through Macedonia. And it may be that I will abide you and winter with you, that you may bring me on my journey with, with her, so ever I go. For I will not see you now, by the way, but I trust to tarry a while with you, if the Lord permit. But I will tarry at Ephesus until Pentecost, for a great door and effectual is opened unto me. You see, a great door is opening right now, and there are many adversaries. 
The enemy is coming in with a great flood. The Antichrist is coming. Now if Timothy comes, see that he may be with you without fear, for he worked the work of the Lord, as I also. Let no man therefore despise him, but conduct him forth in peace, that he may come unto me, for I look for him with the brethren. And now we come to important instructions. As touching our brother Apollos, I greatly desired him to come unto you with the brethren. But his will was not at all to come at this time, but he will come when he shall have convenient time. Watch you, stand fast in the face, quit you like men, be strong. This is very important. Watch you, watch for all the signs that are given right now. Stand fast in the face. Do not falter. Quit you like men. That means come out of the world and out of Babylon. Quit your human walking, your human thinking. Be strong. Let all your things be done with charity. Love, unity and support. Support charity. Come together. Share your resources. Support one another. Show forth the love of the Father. Lift up the needy. Everything is here. This is our complete program here in 1 Corinthians 16. I beseech you, brethren, you know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruit of Achaia and, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. You see, they are special people, and this people that he said here, the first fruits of Achaia and all the others, are now the leaders that have created societies of the rose, and they addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. You see, the word of the Lord is speaking for us, our ministry. That you submit yourself unto such, unto what? Unto the gathering of the saints, the ministry of this people of the first fruits who will bring together the saints on the way to Mount Zion. That you submit yourself unto such and to everyone that helped with us and labored. So there will be helpers and laborers and everything come together, supporters, sponsors, benefactors, everything. I am glad of the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatus and Achaikos. For, oh sorry, no, I, I lost my bearing. <laughs> I have to go back. That was a wrong. I'm glad of the coming of Stephanus and, and Fortunatus and Achaikos. For that which was lacking on your part, they have supplied. You see, here there are people who have access and they come forward and supply it to the ministry. Because the ministry is what? Addicted to the gathering of the saints. Their work is to gather in the saints together. And who are the saints? The people clothed in white. And how do I know that? Because it's written in the Bible that the righteous deeds of the saints are what? The white garment. And who will receive the white garment? The people at the sixth seal have the white garment. Fifth and sixth seal, they have the white garment. And with the white garment, you will enter into paradise. For they have refreshed my spirit and yours. Therefore, acknowledge yet them that are such. The churches of Asia, including Cambodia, salute you. Aquila and Priscilla salute you much in the Lord and with the church that is in their house. Another point, come out of the churches. God is not in the stone buildings. You are the temple. We are the temple of the Lord. We are his building. And then we come together as in, a, in any place we want. A society of the rose can be in a house or in any other meeting place. And you come together in love, unity and support. Share resources, support one another, and lift up the needy, and faceless and nameless. This is the time now. All the brethren greet you. 
greet you another with an holy kiss. The salutation of B. Paul with mine own hand. Any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema. Maranatha. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is, will be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. You see now, if you see all this one, everything is coming together at this point. All, all are fitting perfectly together. Everything is coming and, exp and coming together and it will be is explained in the scriptures by prophets by people who have understanding by intervention of the holy spirit everything points down to that time and you you followers of the past you can also become the the first fruits who will be addicted to the gathering of the saints and how do you do that by establish an assembly of love and righteousness, a society of the rose. Because the leaders, the elders of societies of the rose are the ones who are addicted to the gathering of the saints. 555, five, five, triple grace, 1 Corinthians 16, the gathering of the saints. That's our ministry. That's our Bible for us. That's our timing. And that is our purpose and destiny in the Lord. So be part of it. Come and join Triple Grace at triple slash grace dot com. Sign up with your email and a password and all the resources are free. If you have questions, send them to me at triple slash grace. Oh, sorry, at triple grace five five at gmail dot com. And any other things us, please watch our videos there. Plenty of videos on our YouTube channel for every topic. Just have a look. There is a great one about triple grace, about societies of the rose, about our daily sacrifice of love that we do, everything about love meals, how we conduct the meetings in societies of the rose, everything is there. Just have a look. This is your way and you are the followers of the past. Or also the daily sacrifices daily sacrifice of love going forth into your neighborhood and lift up the needy it is about winning souls it is about bringing in the harvest it's not about you and your careers or your luxuries or your riches the funds that you have in excess should be used to advance the heavenly kingdom and not your own self and your own ideas, the next PlayStation, the next TV, the next car. It is about advancing the kingdom. If you are a true Christian in your heart, you will use your access to lift up the ministries that are gathering the saints. Thank you that you have listened to this message today, and I will come back to you tomorrow with another topic. Please, a short reminder, subscribe and share especially share these videos with your friends and families so that they have an understanding about the path to Mount Zion. Help us in our mission to Cambodia and if you're guided by the Holy Spirit I put a link to the donation in the first pin comment. Then you can make a donation to help us in our mission to Cambodia to help the children who are walking around naked and have no education to lift them up and also the parents to teach them about our Father Yahweh and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We appreciate any help that we can get. Thank you for your kind donation. This also shows forth that you have understood what time it is, that you have to share your access. And I just tell you, I know everybody has a little bit of access and everybody, if is willing, could give something. Thank you for your help. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.